Okay, so Lamborghini. You think sleek, fast, the ultimate driving machine, right? Mm -hmm. But then, bam, recall. It's kind of ironic really? when you think about it. Right. It really makes you wonder. This isn't just some little fender bender issue either. We're talking about the Lamborghini Urus, their SUV. The one that's supposed to be like the ultimate luxury experience, you know. Yeah, their best seller by far, I think. It's really taken off. Exactly. So this whole thing, it's kind of a big deal. We're diving into this podcast episode, The Case, that gets into all the nitty gritty. And what they found is, well, let's just say it's not pretty. Yeah, it's really not your average recall. No, not at all. So picture this. You're cruising down the road, top down, living the dream, and suddenly, wham! Yeah. The hood of your super expensive SUV flies open. It's kind of terrifying when you really think about it. Mm. It's like something out of a movie. Except in the movies, they probably use CGI. For this recall, it's the real deal. And not just a few bad apples either. No, this is serious. We're talking over 2,000 Urus SUVs from 2023 and 2024, specifically the Performante and Urus S models, some of their top of the line stuff, you know. It's a lot of cars and it's not like a loose screw or something. The case really dug into this and well, it's a design flaw. The hood latch, yeah, that can fail. And at high speeds, forget about it. The case actually talked about the hood completely detaching, becoming like a projectile. Projectile, imagine that, from a luxury SUV. It's scary stuff. It's all about this striker support plate, a small part, but crucial. Small but mighty, as they say, or in this case, not so mighty. Right. The case actually read from the recall notice, and apparently this plate, it's just not strong enough to handle the forces on the hood at high speeds, especially on the performance models. They're really pushing the limits there. So what's Lamborghini doing about this whole mess? Because mm -hmm. let's be real, this isn't just a mechanical issue. This is a brand issue. Absolutely. They've got to be freaking out over there. So what are they actually doing about it? I mean, can they even fix something like this? Well, from what the case said, Lamborghini's trying. They've issued a recall. That seems like the bare minimum, right? It is, but they're also reaching out to owners directly, telling them to bring their cars in, get them checked out. Free of charge, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. They're offering free inspections and repairs for all the affected models. Okay, so what's the fix? Like, are we talking a new hood? Yeah. New engine? It's not that drastic. Sounds like they're focusing on that striker support plate we were talking about. Right, the part that's causing all the trouble. Exactly. They're going in, inspecting it, and if it's worn out, boom, they're replacing it. With a stronger one, hopefully. That's the idea. They're even adding another support plate just to be safe, trying to make sure that hood stays put no matter how fast you're going. Smart move. <laughs> but still, this whole thing has to be a PR nightmare for them. I mean, yeah. we're talking about Lamborghini here. Their whole thing is precision, performance. Exactly. It's a huge hit to their image. The case really went into that, how this could impact consumer confidence. People are spending, what, hundreds of thousands of dollars on these cars? Easy. And they're trusting that they're getting the best of the best. When something like this happens, it makes you wonder, you know. Makes you think twice about trusting those high-end brands. No doubt. And remember how we were saying the Urus is their best seller? Like, their golden goose right now? Yeah, really bringing in a new kind of buyer. Right. And now this. It could hurt their sales big time. The case interviewed some marketing expert and she said trust is everything for these luxury brands. Makes sense. It's a lot harder to own back trust than it is to lose it. Exactly. Lamborghini's got to be sweating bullets right now. <laughs> this whole recall, it's a huge test for them. They need to handle it perfectly to minimize the damage. It's like a make or break moment for them. Either they step up and prove they care about safety or... Or they risk losing their reputation. And in the car world, reputation is everything. But you know what's interesting? The case touched on something else, too. This whole thing with the Eurus. It might be a sign of a much bigger problem in the car industry. What do you mean? They were talking about this trend, this obsession with making cars lighter. Lighter? Is that a bad thing? It's not inherently bad, but think about it. To make cars lighter, you need to use different materials. Right. Like what? We're talking like high-strength steel alloys, aluminum... Some cars are even using carbon fiber now. Fancy. But, okay, I see where you're going with this. What's the catch? These materials, are they actually strong enough? That's just it. They're strong, but, like, they're not steel. You know, they don't always behave the same way, especially under stress. And these high-performance cars, they're all about pushing limits. So are you saying these materials, they can't handle it? It's more like maybe we're pushing them too far. The case seemed to think so, at least. 
They even said that this whole Lamborghini recall, it might be a sign of things to come. A sign of things to come? You mean like more recalls, more problems? Potentially. They were saying that maybe our current safety tests, they're not really keeping up with all these new materials, these new ways of building cars. That's a scary thought. So what are we supposed to do? Just hope for the best. I don't think so. I mean, for starters, we can't just assume that because a car is expensive or has a fancy badge, it's automatically safe. Good point. We have to stay informed. We have to demand better. Keep an eye out for recalls, obviously. But also, do your research. Ask mm -hmm. questions. Don't be afraid to get into the nitty gritty of how your car is built and what it's made of. Because at the end of the day, no matter how sleek or fast your car is, it's not worth risking your safety. Knowledge is power. Right. right. So if you're driving a Lamborghini Urus or any car, really do yourself a favor. Check for recalls. Lamborghini's website, they have a section where you can punch in your VIN and see if your car is affected. It only takes a minute and it could literally save your life. Couldn't have said it better myself. And on that note, I think we're out of time for today's deep dive. Until next time, stay safe out there, folks.